morning. Today I'm gonna to be making apple butter. I'm hanging out with the chickens. So I'm gonna to run to the orchard and grab some apples. They're starting to get seconds right now. So I'm gonna pick up some Jonathan's. The apple butter is really simple to make. We're gonna use the Instant Pot and an immersion blender. And I'm probably gonna can it, but you can freeze it too. And I'll explain all that as we go along. Let's go get some apples and we'll get back to the kitchen. tool for putting up apples. It makes the process so much quicker and easier. I wish I'd had this growing up. All right, so this is an apple peeler and core and what it does is it attaches to your countertop or your table and you definitely want the one that screws tight. You don't want the one with the suction cup. But I'm going to go ahead and just show you how it works. You just slide it on and then I always put my husband likes to use popsicle sticks underneath it to kind of hold it in place I'm gonna use a towel and then you just screw it tight this is the handiest tool for putting up apples we use it for making applesauce apple butter and everything and now I'm gonna show you how it works so what you do is you take your apple let's do this one and you want to put the stem end onto your, are you helping me? Onto your peeler. And then you can push it forward a little bit and get started. And it will just automatically, you want to turn it? Turn it. It will automatically peel and core the apple for you. It is, it makes it so much easier. Is that fun? Keep going, you're doing a good job. Want some help? Want some help? <laughs> hey, this is fun, huh? All right. You can see when you get done peeling the apple, you pretty much already have your slices. You might occasionally have to cut out a few bad spots, but it, it just makes the whole process so much easier. There we go. You can go through a whole bunch of apples. Granted, right now I have help, so I can't really go through them as quickly, but you can go through a whole bunch of apples in a really short amount of time. So we're gonna whip through these apples and get them ready.
I picked up seconds at the orchard. And what I mean by seconds is apples that are riper and going bad quicker. And they might have a lot of bad spots, but if you use them quick enough, you can make all sorts of things with them and they're a lot cheaper. So I save 50 to 75%, maybe even more, buying seconds at the apple orchard. So that's something to think about with all kinds of fruit, not just apples, peaches, um, definitely peaches and apples, pears, things like that. So a way to save you money in the kitchen. To put our apple butter together, we've already got our apples in the pot and we're gonna go ahead and put in a quarter cup of water. Then we're going to add a quarter cup of molasses. I always like to scrape scrape it all in so you get it all. Now I'm not using black strap molasses. I'm using regular molasses for the flavor. Then you're going to add a half a cup of pure cane sugar or granulated sugar and then half a cup of light brown sugar. Then you're going to add in half a teaspoon of ground nutmeg, half a teaspoon of ground cloves, the pie swatter, <laughs> half a teaspoon of ground allspice, and then half a teaspoon of ground cinnamon. Then you'll need a teaspoon of lemon juice, and finally a teaspoon of vanilla extract. Then. You're just going to take a spatula or a big spoon and kind of give that a stir. You don't really have to mix it all together if you don't want to because we're going to do that in the end with the immersion blender. But I like to at least mix it in just a little bit just to get the ingredients meshing together really well. I cannot wait to smell this cooking. This is probably my favorite thing about fall, smelling apple butter cooking in the Instant Pot or in the slow cooker. Apple butter and applesauce. We'll be making some applesauce too this fall. Got to restock our pantry. All right, so we're going to take this and put it in the Instant Pot and it's ready to go. You'll put the lid on your Instant Pot, and then you're going to press manual or pressure cook, and you're going to go down to 15 minutes. Oops, i got to go a long way to get to 15. What did we cook for 90 minutes? Alright, and then you just let it go and let it cook. You also want to make sure that you let it naturally release in the end. Excuse the mess. <laughs> but we decided to go give our chickens a little treat with the apple peeling. <laughs> you wanna open the door for them? Mama, me too. Wanna give them some more? Yeah. <laughs> No, I got the bowl. You just take it.
All right, my Instant Pot just released, so now I'm ready to blend it all up with my Immersion Blender. Now, if you don't have an Immersion Blender, you can also use a potato masher, which you'll still have chunks with that. Or you can pour the mixture into a food processor or a regular blender and blend it up that way. Um, I really like using the Immersion Blender because it's easy and I can do it right in the Instant Pot, no need to dirty any other dishes. So I'm going to show you how to do this. Watch the steam when you open it up so you don't burn yourself. And then you'll also want to watch the steam as you blend it as well. You could wear some gloves or use a pot holder. I think gloves would work better though. so good and it looks so good can't wait to try this I think it's time to take a little taste and try this out okay moment of truth mm. that is pretty good mmm I can't wait to have biscuits with the apple butter. Now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to get my jars out. They're all sanitized and ready to go. I'm going to get those out and fill them up and get them ready to go in the water bath. Now you can can or freeze this recipe like I said before, but um, I'm choosing to can because I kind of want to fill my pantry up and that way we're not reliant on the freezer. So, All right, let's get this apple butter all jarred up and ready to go. Then you'll just wipe the rim of your jar Watch your jars, they're probably pretty hot. And you want to fill them almost to the top, but you want to leave room. Just a little bit of room, like maybe a half inch at the top. And then you're ready to place your lids on and your bands and put them down in the water bath. Or you can let them cool completely and put them in the freezer. But right now, I'm going to get mine ready for the water bath. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. 
That is so good. We got one batch of apple butter, which makes about six to eight jars. And you can find the link to the recipe in the caption below this video. Now another thing I like to do before I put these in my pantry or in the freezer is I like to just write what they are because I will forget otherwise. I might get them mixed up with something else that's in there. Because apple butter and cinnamon applesauce look an awful lot alike. And then I like to put the date too of when I made it. So today is 8, 27, 19. And that way I know when I made it. And if for some strange reason we don't eat this up, I know when I need to get rid of it. But we usually don't have that problem. So, alright. Was that fun? Yeah.